As a financial expert with over 20 years of experience, I've seen my fair share of economic ups and downs. But as we head into 2022, one question is on everyone's mind, will a recession strike? The signs are mixed. On the one hand, corporate credit spreads have gotten tighter, and many indicators of financial market stress are getting close to zero. But on the other hand, high yield spreads are still well below the 1000 basis point spread that shows a troubled bond market and high corporate default rates. Also, the number of first-time jobless claims dropped to its lowest level in several months, but hiring is still slow. So, what does this mean for the housing market? And what can we expect from inflation? It's time to separate fact from fiction and figure out the real economic outlook for 2022. Are we headed towards a recession? And if so, what does that mean for you and your finances? As we delve deeper into the data, it becomes clear that the probability of a recession this year is quite high. The New York Empire State Manufacturing Survey and the Philadelphia Fed Survey for January show that manufacturing will slow down in the new year. Additionally, we can expect weak housing starts and existing home sales to continue. Even though the number of initial jobless claims is low right now, it could be a sign that the job market is getting worse. On the housing market front, the outlook isn't much rosier. The data shows that housing starts and existing home sales have been weak, and it's likely that this trend will continue. Several things, like high unemployment, economic uncertainty, and rising interest rates, can be blamed for this. However, there are also some positive indicators, such as low mortgage rates and a growing population of first-time home buyers, which could help balance out the negative factors. In terms of inflation, we can expect to see a slight uptick in the coming months. The Eurozone's HCP inflation rate is expected to fall to 9.2% year-on-year in December, down from 10.1% in November. However, this decline is mostly due to energy prices and not core or food prices. In the UK, inflation is likely to ease to 10.2% year-over-year in December from 10.7% in November. All of these factors will undoubtedly have an impact on the general consumer. Consumer spending and confidence are likely to go down because of the possibility of a recession, the weak housing market, and rising prices. The good news is that there are still some positive indicators, such as low mortgage rates, which could help mitigate some of the negative effects. One of the key takeaways from this analysis is that the economy is currently in a precarious state, and there are a number of factors that could push it into a recession. However, it's important to remember that there are also some positive indicators that could help balance out the negative effects. As always, to get through these uncertain times, it's important to stay informed and make smart financial decisions. Let me tell you a story. I once had a client, we'll call him John. John was a blue collar worker with a modest income, but he had always dreamed of buying his first home. He saved every penny he could, and after years of hard work, he finally had enough for a down payment. However, when he went to start looking for a home, he was in for a rude awakening. 
The housing market had become so unaffordable that he couldn't even find a starter home within his budget. It was a tough lesson for John, and it taught me the importance of keeping an eye on the housing market. This is why the outlook on the housing market for this year is a particular concern. Based on the data, it seems that the housing market is likely to remain weak this year. Housing starts and existing home sales are expected to stay low, which could make it difficult for people like John to find an affordable home. This is especially concerning in light of the already high prices of homes and the rising interest rates. This could make it even more difficult for people to get approved for a mortgage. However, while the housing market may be challenging, it's important to remember that there are still options available. For those who are looking to buy a home, it's important to keep an open mind and be prepared to make some compromises. This may mean looking in areas that you hadn't considered before or opting for a fixer-upper instead of a move-in ready home. Additionally, it's important to work with a good real estate agent who can help you find the best deals and guide you through the buying process. But the housing market isn't the only thing to be concerned about this year. Another big issue is the outlook for inflation. According to the data, we can expect inflation to remain high this year, which could make it more difficult for consumers to make ends meet. The high inflation rate is likely to result in higher prices for goods and services, which could put a strain on household budgets. This, combined with the challenges in the housing market, could make it tough for consumers to make ends meet. However, it's important to remember that there are steps you can take to protect yourself from the effects of inflation. One of the most important things you can do is to be mindful of your spending and try to live below your means. This means that you should be aware of your expenses and try to save as much money as possible. By doing so, you'll be better able to weather any economic downturns and be in a stronger financial position when inflation starts to rise. Another thing you can do is to invest in assets that tend to appreciate in value during periods of inflation. These are things like real estate, precious metals, and stocks in companies that tend to do well when prices go up. By investing in these types of assets, you'll be able to protect your wealth and potentially even grow it during times of inflation. Now, let's talk about a little known fact about inflation. Did you know that inflation can actually benefit certain people? For example, if you're a borrower, inflation can be a good thing because it means that the value of your debt will decrease over time. This is because the money you borrowed will be worth less in the future due to inflation, so you'll be able to pay back your debt with less valuable dollars. On the other hand, if you're a saver, inflation can be a bad thing because it means that the value of your savings will decrease over time. This is because the money you saved will be worth less in the future due to inflation, so you'll be able to buy less with your savings. So, as you can see, inflation can be both a blessing and a curse, depending on your perspective. The key is to be aware of how inflation may affect you and take steps to protect yourself accordingly. In conclusion, the economy remains vulnerable to a recession this year as a result of rising interest rates and a slowdown in corporate bond issuance. The housing market is also expected to remain weak, with housing starts and existing home sales likely to stay low. Inflation is also a concern, 
and it may take a while before it falls back to target levels. This can have a big effect on the average consumer because it makes it harder for them to pay for basic needs and plan for the future. But, as always, knowledge is power. If you know what's going on in the economy and take steps to protect yourself, you can limit how much these problems hurt your finances. One of the best ways to do this is by being mindful of your spending and trying to save as much as you can. It's also important to put your money into things like real estate or stocks that can help you keep your buying power. Remember, it's not just about how much money you make, it's about how much money you keep. And with the right mindset and tools, you can keep more of your money and achieve your financial goals. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to check out our other videos on this channel for more tips and insights on managing your finances. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. And as always, we appreciate your support. Thank you for watching.